that is ha that used to happen to Slow Joe a lot. Back at Kings of the North, he got ninth place, and I don't think he actually beat any notable names. <laughs> he got ninth, like it was crazy. So All now right, this is gonna be Snoofle and Lord Wolf as Fox versus Falcon. This is a fast-paced matchup. Yeah, this is gonna look a lot like the Sheen Lord Wolf ass matchup, but probably minus the style points and more just the the foxing. Right. Yep. Getting in and out, moving around, and the thing is though, Lord Whoopass is uh, Falcon is slippery. He uses those dash dances a lot, and he gets in and out very well. It's really tricky. Yeah, it's real old school Falcon from you know back in the original Smash games, where dash dancing is much harder to pull off in this game. Yeah, uh, perfect pivoting is kind of you know the new hotness. Right. But Lord Whoopass, he can dash dance. Uh, he'll pivot her all over you, and that Captain Falcon, obviously one of the fastest ground speed characters in the game, he can contend with Fox in that way as that trade is gonna not kill Fox, but the up smash part will kill Falcon off the top. Funny enough, had this been Smashville, I think that would've killed both of them. Shorter blast zones, so Town and City kinda coming out clutch here with a shorter ceiling and longer sides. Let's see if Snoofle can retain this lead here. He's already putting on a bunch of extra credit, which is really easy for Fox. If he can get one up tilt, he can get five. There's 88% real quick. Yeah, suddenly we have uh, almost a lap. It was real close. Real smart Ooh. there from Lord Whoopass. He was looking for it. He fell an extra, like, two or three lengths of the, you know, like, total body size. Yeah. Looking for that, just waiting for the upbeat. Real smart there. Lord Whoopass taking that stock and putting himself right back in his game. Snoopo not able to cross the shield up there, which is exactly what he needed to get behind Lord Whoopass for the up tilt, but it doesn't even matter. Oh, no, he's back. Oh, Lord Whippass trying to put this game away immediately. He knows he might not get another opportunity like that. Right. But Snoople Snoople had a good angle to keep on living. Yeah, Snoople kind of put himself in no man's land at random a minute ago. And now Lord Whippass, seeing this game slowly slip away. He's got to make something happen. Snoople trying to get the two frame with the up tilt. If he does get that, it will connect into the back air. But he was just at too high of a percent. Snoople knowing that opted to go for the up air, but again, still too high of the percent. 167% max rage here for Captain Falcon, and that could be, you know, down throw into me or something crazy. You never know. Actually, at the weight that Snoopy, it, it won't confirm is, yet, but it's getting close. It is. It's another two frame up tilt. That was a smart recovery. Look, fade towards the ledge and then, or uh, the, the platform, then go for the ledge. 200% yeah. here, and Lord Whoopass is just gonna fall to his death. I think he believed he still had a second jump and did not. Yeah. Big Mac looking a little bit confused. He's literally on the floor. Like, there's a little crowd right on the floor behind him, and Big Mac looked terribly confused as to how he lost that stock. I think Big Mac looked terribly confused as to why he's not the one sitting down. <laughs> he's had a weird day. Oh, are you arguing that uh, Big Mac would have beat Snoofle handily? No, I'm saying he could have. I'm saying he has in the past. <laughs> as long as he had the chance to, but he, he did not. That income took that from him. Snoofle will occasionally have the really random bad loss. He yeah. went he went one and two with the last hidden bosses, which is a amateur. Right. Mm -hmm. And then he immediately turned around and got decent placing at Smash and Splash 3. I forget where exactly, but I'm pretty sure he topped 32. Either that or 33, exactly. Yeah, it was he was up there. Yeah, he did very well, but now he's gonna fight his way through Lord Whoop ass to keep moving on through this bracket, and we're bringing it right on back to town and city. Yep, Snoofle got a game already. That was a weird, long kind of grind there, the last game, where Lord Whoopass was at 200% and just kind of fell to his death. Yeah. Coming out, out of the gate a little bit hotter this time. Should be five up tilts here, yep. Gets the fifth. Three. Snoofle is just putting on a workshop here. Tilt stick is uh, pretty good. Especially <laughs> Shoutouts to tilt stick. Yeah, Shoutouts to... Everyone with the tilt stick on Fox. At this percent now, if Snoople is able to get that two framed up tilt, uh, he. Ooh, not gonna kill there, but he's out of the percent now. I was gonna say he would be able to land the back air, but he's out of percent. I found this to be a, kind of an interesting stage choice to go back to for Lord Warfast as he gets up smashed right in the face. Not safe on shield. His forward smash is not Meta Knights. Oh, that was a really nice pivot back air. It that was. That was so clean. Snoofle missing the tech on that platform. I don't think he thought he was going to hit the platform. Oh, so Lord Whippass trying to put this away. He gets the stomp. Oh, he tried to oh, upbeat no. through Firefox, but you can't do that. Fox yeah, McCloud no, has always gotten free privilege in every game he's been in. Firefox is just very good. Lord Whippass keeping the pressure on. 
just neutral, pulling the ruins, sitting back and shooting lasers. Sometimes you need to when you're behind a little bit. Oh yeah, any Not percent's good percent. Any free percent is good percent. Oh, the oh, hard man. read! Oh my god, he started charging that before Snoofle even began fast falling through the platform. He Woo. just said, all right, thank you very much for the freebie. And they're gonna go to game three. Going to game three here, yeah, and I could imagine Town and City being the run back once again. It's it's at that point it's kind of like a pride factor. If it's a gentleman's, it's okay, but yeah. you know, Lord Wolfass might cut the SR on him. Ooh, and it looks like he might have. He may have. I have a feeling though that Snoofle may have just picked the stage because there's no platforms for him to you know miss a tech on. Yep. And Fox can still run circles around Falcon despite his speed. Snoofle just dashing in, dashing out, kind of getting a feel for each other here on Final Destination, seeing what it'll look like. And each of these guys looking for whatever they can get. Good start here from Snoofle. As he gets, he is the first one to kind of take over the stage control. Snoofle looking for those raw back airs after the down throw. Oh, the raw falcon kick. Lord Wolfass actually does that a lot out of the corner. If he feels threatened and you feel like you're just waiting for him to make a move, falcon kick will be the move. Lord Wolfass plays, I feel, a lot like Demitus used to back in the day play, when he played Falcon, where he just, he lives on the hard read. Oh, just missing the knee by inches. Oh, didn't get the full out. But gets the hard read on the forward smash, down angled, going to insta-kill Snoofle there. Snoofle looked like he checked his notes there for a second, just to double check what really happened there. So Snoofle's got to kind of put on a clinic here, and he almost, almost. evened it up. Needed some rage there to get a little bit more knock-up. Neutral they're gonna get him out of that sticky situation. Looking for the down air to knee, not able to get it. Good drift there from Lord Wolfest to make himself back in the stage. Now lands the down air and up smash. All right, we got ourselves a last stock game three situation. Everybody's favorite. This is tense. This will be a pretty good win for Snoople here after having uh, some good luck with Bracket. This would really let other people know that he is not just a lucky Bracket beneficiary. Yeah, Snoofle is getting real close, but Lord Warpass is not going down here without a fight even remotely. He's got the lead. A couple of jab combos putting him there. Snoofle now opting to kind of run away a little bit, get some free percent. Yep. If you do that enough time, you'd be tied. Yeah. Although you can't trade a laser for an up air like just happened. Grab. I like the option for the spot dodge there. Prevented the grab there, and the up tilt's now starting to come out. Snoofle is hop, skipping, jumping all around. Oh, he went for the fair footstool, oh. but couldn't quite get it. I think he again went for the fair footstool, but he dash attacked on accident instead. Oh, Falcon with the up air. Couldn't quite make much out of it other than damage, but the jab combo getting shielded. Lord Wolfass, I think, and let go of the A button for a second. Oh no. Side B into back air, not quite gonna kill. Snoofle gonna make it back. Not challenging. Oh. That straight up is just the Demitus, the down smash and late. <laughs> oh, he used to do that all the time. Down smash and neutral now, huh? Oh, oh, oh no. no! Oh, not able to get the two frame. This is so tense. Gets another up tilt. Just missed space in the back air there. I think nerves are setting in. Last stop, last hit. Space is the back air. Snoofle, a little bit impatient there, runs in. Oh, gets the spot dodge. Again, that's the second time he's baited that. Up and smash. the raw up smash is gonna oh, take it! Oh my god, what a read! Snoofle is gonna walk away from that one. Last stock, last hit, the victor. That was really, really clutch there from Snoofle to recognize that Lord Whoopass had not been air dodging on the way down for the last yeah. three or four times he'd been up and just saying, you know what, I don't need to confirm. Yep. I just need the Pele kick. 